Hello guys, you are on the M24.com YouTube channel, name is Vadim, and today we have an unusual video. We will disassemble a cheap copy of the iPhone 30 Pro. We've got quite a few of these iPhones, so if you find this video useful, we will do something else more. And so the complexity of this disassembly is medium, duration is about 18 minutes. The first thing we have to do is heat the surface of the back cover up to 70 Celsius degree or 158 degree Fahrenheit. For heating we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer and heat for 5 or 7 minutes. After 5 or 7 minutes, we can move to open the back cover. We take a plastic film in order to insert the film between the back cover and the housing. We have to slightly pick up the cover for this we have a special tool with which we lift the edge and push the plastic film through. Then we run the film along the edge and spray some isopropyl alcohol to dry the adhesive base. The phone is a fake or imitation in many ways. It is not clear what is inside, how, where and what is glued or else, so we will act carefully. We draw the tool along the edge and we can take a larger plastic film. And now notice we hook the antenna band and tore off a piece, so you don't need to push the tool too deep inside. Now we can open the back cover. We can see how the cameras are located, the lines of wires are visible, and hole for memory card. Oh my god. Look how glued the cover is. 
By the way, it is made of thick plastic. Where we tore off the antenna band is not visible and it is not clear at all. We have to unscrew the screws using a Phillips screwdriver 1.5 mm or hash theo. Guys, just not the smartphone has not been disassembled before us, but one screw is clearly missing. There is one more point that I would like to draw your attention to. This is clearly a microphone, but it doesn't have an external output for sound, and it is torn to the back cover. All screws look the same, but just in case, when disassembling, lay them out somewhere in correct order so as not to make mistake during assembly. And yes, back to our memory card slot. Just think about it. The cover is not removable and under it is a slot for a memory card. We remove the stock screws. We leave the cover with the loudspeaker and we see that the speaker is soldered by wires to the subboard. Disconnect the connector, then we unscrew one screw securing the subboard. The screwdriver is the same Philips 1.5 mm. Disconnect the coaxial cable connector and remove the circuit board and loudspeaker. Ok, here we see a loudspeaker soldered with the wires, a charging port and a microphone. We continue to unscrew the screws using the same Philips 1.5mm screwdriver. Here we even have a warranty sticker, but of course I doubt that someone will undertake to carry out warranty repairs on this device. We take out the stuck screws and arrange them in correct order too.
we are trying to remove the cover, we need to be careful. It is not clear whether it is glued or screwed on the edge. And here we go, we can open the cover, there is a flashlight on the cover and I have already see at least two surprises for us. First, of course, on the cover has an imitation of three rare cameras. In reality, we have only one. And the second, the battery is soldered with wires. Some also so strange, the battery's font imitate the Apple inscriptions on their batteries. Since our battery is soldered with wires, we need a soldering iron to unsolder them. Unsolder the wires carefully. You will of course need to unsolder these wires first, most likely right after removing the back cover to exclude the possibility of a short circuit during the disassembly process. We remove the rear camera, we have one here, and remove the front camera too. To remove the motherboard, we need to detach the body of the RP speaker from the adhesive base. By the way, it is soldered on both sides with a cable and the wires. It is a quite strange idea, uncomfortable to work with it and so easy to damage something. We unscrew one more screw, securing the circuit board using the same Philips 1.5mm screwdriver or Philips hash 3 -O. The power button cable is soldered and it needs to be unsoldered. Here we have the side buttons, we need to disconnect the connector and remove this assembly. We unsolder the cable. Disconnect the interboard cable connector.
Now we can remove the circuit board. We forgot to take out the SIM card tray. We insert the special tool into the hole and push the tray out. And again we unscrew one more screw, securing the printed circuit board. Screwdriver the same, Philips 1.5 mm. We carefully remove the second subboard, and since the vibration motor is soldered to the subboard, we also need to unstick it off the base. On this subboard we have holders for SIM and memory cards. As we can see, we have large format windows and the display is not protected from the inside. We decided that we would not remove the battery. It is not clear what it is glued to and there is a definitely high risk of damaging the display. I think this can only be done when absolutely necessary. And at this point our disassembly is completed. Thank you for watching. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video. I pray, I believe in the better days